We already have more information about Spider-Man 2 coming from Insomniac Games, including a release date. We now know that the game is launching October 20th of this year. That's a little later than the September release date that many of us were speculating on, but that's okay. It's only one month after that, the game is coming really fast, it's just a few months out, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Today at the Summer Games Fest, Brian Intahar, the creative director at Insomniac Games, took to the stage to give us some more details. That release date being one thing, we got to see some pre-order information, some suits that you can get as a pre-order bonus. But what I was really interested in was something that he mentioned about Venom, which is that Venom will not be Eddie Brock in this game. Obviously, Twitter is already swarming with theories that I'm excited to talk about. I have a few ideas of my own, especially the one at the very end, so make sure to stick around for my final guess on the list, because I really do think that it could be a shocking twist. I'd also love to hear who you think Venom is in this game, so make sure to leave your speculation in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get right into this. I think the most common suspect for people who've played the Insomniac Spider-Man games is that Venom will be Harry. They've been teasing this since the post credit scene of the first game, we got a follow-up to that in the post credit scene of the Miles Morales game. We know that in this universe, Harry is sick, and we've seen him in a chamber that's keeping him alive, where he is seen with what appears to be the Venom symbiote. We're not sure if this substance is alien, we're not sure if it's some kind of medical experiment that Dr. Connors is working on to try to keep Harry alive. Heck, there's possibly a very small chance that this isn't even the same symbiote that transforms Peter into the black-suited Spider-Man, or that transforms whoever is Venom into Venom. Maybe it's just a red herring. I really doubt that. I do think that this is the substance that will eventually transform somebody into Venom. The strongest thing about this theory is that Insomniac clearly does have ideas for Harry's story arc. They really built him up in the first game. They gave him a big side mission to sort of build up his friendship with Peter, even though he wasn't directly involved with the narrative. It seems like he is going to be a heavy player in Spider-Man 2, and having him be Venom could be an interesting way for him and Peter to have to fight after years of friendship. Another interesting theory that I'm seeing is that it could actually be Norman Osborn who becomes Venom. I've seen that one circulating on Twitter. I don't personally buy into that one too much, though I'm not going to completely rule it out. Insomniac is known to shift gears when it comes to traditional storytelling, but it doesn't really feel like they were ever building up Norman to become Venom. It feels a lot more like they're teasing him to become Green Goblin. My guess is Norman will eventually become Green Goblin. I don't really see him becoming Venom, but I could be wrong. Another possible character is Flash Thompson. He was teased a few times in that first game, though we never got to see him. He could be more of an anti-hero if he gets the symbiote in this game, or more of a good guy. Although they really are teasing Venom as a villain. Maybe he'll turn, and maybe he and Spider-Man will team up. Maybe this is a maximum carnage game in disguise. We'll see. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. And I think that's one of the things that's just so exciting about what Insomniac is doing is that this game really could go anywhere. They could have a twist where Green Goblin is the secret villain. They could have a twist where Carnage is the secret main villain of the game. Or they could just set those characters up for the third game. They have a lot of leeway with whatever they want to do. Another common theory is that Peter Parker will become Venom. We started to see his eyes shift and change in that gameplay demo. Obviously today we saw some concept art showing both of the Spider-Men fighting Venom at the same time, so this in some ways might be seen as debunking that theory. However, who's to say that Peter doesn't become Venom before he finally does get rid of the symbiote and it transfers to someone else? Maybe the symbiote evolves as Peter is wearing it, and he could become Venom before someone else becomes the true Venom later on. This actually leads me into my next theory, which is that it's not necessarily any one person who is Venom. Maybe Insomniac will go more of a Web of Shadows direction, where the symbiote infects various civilians, superheroes, and supervillains around the city, and so there will be multiple Venoms for you to have to take out. I do think that this would be a fun and different spin on Venom, but I also do feel like Web of Shadows covered that concept very nicely, and I also just like the idea of Venom being a singular, very dominant force in this universe. But I do think that the idea of multiple Venoms being involved in the story, whether it's because the symbiote is infecting one person after the next, or because the symbiote is infecting multiple people at the same time, I do think that is a distinct possibility. Another theory that I've seen is that Kraven could become Venom. Maybe he becomes so power-hungry in trying to hunt the Spider-Men and other characters around New York City that he dons the symbiote in order to gain enough power to take them down. 
I don't know that we've seen enough of Craven's character arc in this story yet to really tell if that's something that he would do, if those are the lengths he would go to, because it's just as possible that he will be trying to take down Venom as he is the Spider-Man in this game. We're just kind of going to have to wait to see on him, though I don't want to rule him out either yet. So before I get to my final theory, I just want to thank all of you for watching and ask that you hit that like button if you do enjoy the video. It really helps the algorithm share my content so that more people can watch it. I'd love to get more people excited watching these videos as we lead up to the release of Spider-Man 2. So this last theory I am very much claiming as my own. If someone else has come up with this, that's great. I just haven't seen it. So this is something that has sort of been eating at the back of my brain all day today. What if Venom is Otto Octavius? Let's think about how the first game left him off. They left him in a body that is becoming disabled over a course of time. His body is shutting down, his muscles aren't working anymore, but he very much has a hatred for Peter Parker. He also knows Peter Parker's identity as Spider-Man. This is a dangling plot thread that was not resolved, but probably won't be resolved as Doc Ock. If the symbiote somehow finds its way to Otto Octavius and allows him to regain control of his body, he will very quickly be going after Peter Parker, most likely. I know that that isn't a character who is traditionally the one to become Venom, but it really does feel like Insomniac was setting him up for something, and since 2018, I just haven't really known or understood what that could be for. But now with the confirmation that Venom is not Eddie Brock, I think that leaves a huge door open for Dr. Octavius's plot to continue as Venom. There's many other characters it could be. I do think that Otto Octavius perhaps could be the most interesting. I do think Harry Osborn is the most likely. Obviously, we'll have to wait until October 20th to see who Venom really is, but those are some of the theories that I've seen circulating, as well as some of my own. Thank you all again so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know again in the comments below who you think Venom could be, and we'll see you guys 